can definitely say this is a hat hanger design you've likely never seen before. Stay tuned to watch how you can make this two-tier sunflower at Macame hat hanger pattern. here and welcome back to Bochinat Macrame. In this tutorial I will be going over how to make a two-tier macrame hat hanger with a sunflower design. We are going to be using some basic materials and a few basic knots to create a very intricate design. And so this pattern is great if you're looking for something very unique. This pattern is also very versatile in that you can change up a few things to make it your own. Some patterns on how you can change this pattern up are you can change up the colors of the cords that we attach at the bottom of the ring. So we attach two strands of cord at the bottom of the ring. They're slightly shorter than the cords we had started off with. If you change the colors for those two added cords, you will have a slightly different color at the bottom of the sunflower which will make the upper part of the sunflower stand out more. I made this into a two-tier hat hanger. You can take away a tier or add more tiers at the bottom to change up this pattern. You can add more petals to the bottom part of the tier. I've added three petals to the sides of the top tier and none at the bottom. You can add maybe one, two, or three petals if you'd like to the sides of the bottom tier. If you like this pattern as is, that's great. If there are changes you want to make, you can definitely go ahead and do that and hopefully you'll settle on some that you can make your own. And with that said, let's get right into it. You will only need some basic supplies for this pattern. I've used three millimeter macrame cord and one two inch wooden ring. The same ring that you'd usually use for a plant hanger. The cord that I'll be using for this pattern is a three millimeter, three ply cotton cord from our rainbow cord line. What I like about this cord is that it's softer than a lot of the other three ply cords out there. It has added texture and it is still sturdy, but it has that softness so that it's easy to work with. If you're interested in checking this out, you can head on over to bochinap.com. And we will also be using a two inch wooden ring for this pattern. To begin, take our first strand of cord at 780 centimeters long and we're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to place it down horizontally where the loop end is. And then we're just going to tape or pin down the top part of the loop end. Then taking a second strand of 780 centimeter long cord, we are going to attach it onto the bottom horizontal cord end with a double half inch knot. Around the center point of the vertical cord, we are going to bring the cord underneath the horizontal cord so that the top end and the bottom end of the vertical cord are relatively even. Then holding that middle spot, we're going to take the bottom end and make a double half inch knot. Once done, push it over to the right side. And now repeat this two more times to the left. Now for ease of making this pattern, because we are working with such long cords, we're just going to roll up each of the cord ends at the bottom and at the top. And we're going to leave several inches, but then once you have 
a relatively short length left to work with. We're going to wrap that around with an elastic band. And then as you keep making the pattern, if you run out of cord, you can just pull or loosen up this little bundle to release more cord. Once we are done with the double half inch knots on the bottom end, we are going to turn the pattern around and we're going to make the same three double half inch knots onto the other horizontal end. So flip it around so that the top end from before is now at the bottom. So starting with the far left vertical cord, we're going to make a double half inch knot onto the horizontal anchor cord, and then we're going to make two more double half inch knots to the right. Now directly underneath, we're going to take the far left cord as an anchor cord, bring it over to the right, and we're going to make three double half inch knots to the right here. Then after this, we're going to flip the pattern over onto the other side and make another three double half inch knots on the other end. So I've now flipped it over to the other side and now using the far right cord as an anchor cord, we're going to make three double half inch knots to the left. Now directly underneath, make another row of three double half inch knots from right to left, then do the same thing on the other side. We have now completed our very first flower petal. Now we're going to take the bottom two cords from this petal and attach them onto the wooden ring. So place this pattern vertically, and then we're going to place the wooden ring on top. Starting with one cord end, we're going to attach it onto the ring with a double half inch knot.
Now repeat the same thing with the cord end on the other side. Once the double half hitch knots are complete, we're going to bring the cord ends back down behind the ring. So they should be sitting at the front right now. We're going to bring it to the back and then we're going to bring that anchor cord over to the side on the right above the three cords on the right side. Now we're going to start our second pedal on the right. To do this, we're going to make a row of double half hitch knots from left to right. Now underneath, make two more rows of double half inch knots from left to right. Now take the anchor cord over to the left for three double half inch knots. Now underneath, make two more rows of double half inch knots from right to left. Now that we are complete with the second pedal, taking the anchor cord, we are going to make a double half inch knot onto the wooden ring. Now we're going to repeat the same flower petal on the left side. Take the left cord from the middle petal to the back and we're going to use it as an anchor cord to start off our first row of double half inch knots to the left.
Now underneath, make two more rows of double half inch knots from right to left. Now take the anchor cord over to the right for a row of double half inch knots, then underneath, add two more rows of double half inch knots from left to right. Now take the anchor cord that we had just used and attach it onto the ring with a double half inch knot. And we have now completed three flower petals. We're going to add two more flower petals down on both sides. Once complete, this is what the pattern should look like. What we're going to do is separate out the working cord that we had just used at the bottom on both sides. We're going to bring those working cords at the back to the top to separate them. Then taking the first vertical cord on the left side, we're going to attach this onto the bottom of the wooden ring with a double half hitch knot. Now continue with the remaining two cords on the left side with double half inch knots onto the bottom of the ring.
Repeat the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to attach our two slightly shorter cords at 570 centimeters long each. We're going to attach them onto the bottom of the wooden ring with reverse lox head knots. Once both cords have been attached onto the bottom of the ring, we're going to take the middle right cord as an anchor cord for a horizontal row of double half inch knots from left to right. We're going to make it horizontally, which means that as you get to the right side, you will see an increased gap from the double half inch knots to the knots above it. Now underneath, take the far left cord as the anchor cord again, and we're going to make another row of double half inch knots to the right side. Repeat once more underneath. Then take the anchor cord over to the left for three consecutive rows of double half inch knots from right to left. We will now take the anchor cord to the bottom of the ring for a double half inch knot.
We will now repeat this exact same petal from the right side on to the left side. Start with the middle left chord. Once done, we will now take the middle two chords and we're going to make a diagonal double half a knot over to the left side. Then with the remaining chords on the left side, attach them onto the same anchor chord with double half inch knots. And now taking the middle right chord as an anchor chord, make a diagonal row of double half inch knots to the right. Starting with the middle two chords, make a row of diagonal double half inch knots to the sides. Repeat this once more underneath. Now we're going to take the anchor chord on both sides, bring it to the center for one last double half inch knot. Separate out the chords at the back so that there are the chords on the left side and then there's a chord group on the right side. Now on the right side, we're going to measure approximately 12 centimeters downwards and then taking the far right chord there, we're going to use that as an anchor chord for a diagonal row of double half-ish knots from right to left. Now with the far right five chords, we're going to make another petal pattern with three rows of double half inch knots to the right and then three rows back over to the left. Now using the same anchor cord on the left side, take all of the vertical cords on the right side and attach them one by one with double half inch knots. Push the knots over to the left after you have made them. You should see a petal start to form as soon as you do this. Now 
Now repeat for the same petals underneath, starting with the anchor cord diagonally over to the left. Now repeat once more underneath. We did leave a tiny gap in between all three petals so that it does curve slightly. And this is what we want because we want to have these three petals sit nicely on the sides of the hat. Now we're going to repeat the exact same pattern on the left side mirroring what we just did on the right. Start off with a row of diagonal double half a knots from left to right. Make a petal on the left side, close it off, and then make two more underneath. Once done, you should have three petals on the left side and three petals on the right side. Now at the bottom, we're going to skip about 14 centimeters and we're going to start our large petal here. After about 14 centimeters of space, take the middle two cords and make a double half inch knot diagonally to the left. Then we're going to repeat the exact same pattern as the middle petal that we made at the bottom of the sunflower right here with all of the vertical cords. Make sure the hat fits within the space before you move on. And then now to make the second tier, we're going to skip 30 centimeters of space now and repeat the exact same petal. So now with the cords at the very bottom, trim off the excess fringe. So leave your desired length of fringe and then cut off the excess. And then from the excess scrap pile, there should be some longer cords. Take one at about 40, centimeters long and we're going to use that as a working cord for a gathering knot right underneath the last flower petal. Trim off the excess cords and we are now complete with the sunflower hat hanger. And there you have it, you have your very own sunflower macrame hat hang. Whether you kept yours the exact same as this pattern or changed it up to make it your own, all that matters is that you had fun creating it. By following along with this tutorial, you would have likely picked up some new skills, which is a big bonus. Make sure you guys share your creations with me on the community tab within Patreon or on Instagram at Bochinot. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.